Hello, dear friends. Another fantastic dessert today. We're making a strawberry shortcake. <laughs> we're making a lemon chiffon cake, and we made our own strawberry jam to go inside. It's fantastic. You're going to love this dessert. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making an amazing strawberry shortcake. Okay, friends. Well, the first thing I like to do when I make my strawberry shortcake is um, uh, a jam, a strawberry jam. It's time to make it. There's strawberries everywhere, friends. And uh, uh, well, if you're watching this in December, maybe not so good. All right. So look, I got two pounds of strawberries that I just cut up in little pieces, you know, roughly just chop them up. And uh, I got a cup and a quarter of, uh, of sugar. That looks like a lot of sugar. Don't worry. It's not because I got a half a cup of lemon juice <laughs> so you know that's not going to be a lot right so we're going to bring this to boiler and then we're going to put a, a one uh, envelope of gelatin that's about eight nine grams of gelatin and then i'm going to bloom the gelatin when you, whenever you put gelatin you bloom it first and um, you put it in about um uh about a quarter cup there you go about a quarter cup of uh, lemon cello so you bloom it, you see? You bloom it, just let it bloom, you'll see. It'll get nice and thick. And then, after you bloom it, you want to put it in a, um, in, in boiling. So we're going to boil it. And, uh, and then we're going to cook it for an hour and a half. Pretty simple to do, right? You know what you should always do just to pinch, uh, pinch the salt? You're going to say, well, I don't want to salt it. Yeah, dude, trust me. It wakes up, wakes, wakes, wakes up. <laughs> wake up all the ingredients all right that's it friends the lemon cello is very important i'm making it with lemon strawberry lemon but you could make a strawberry orange also eh? i'm going to take it and i'm going to put it in a small burner so i don't need to worry too much about it see i didn't tell that to jack so all of a sudden like ooh, man look at the camera going where is he going you good over there jack okay see i pulled the fast one on him so now friends we're gonna make whipped cream okay i got um uh, two cup of heavy whipping cream and uh, I'm gonna whip it. My bowl is called my um, uh, 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 Whisk is called my bowl is called everything is called and we're gonna whip Two cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna put a touch of vanilla. I use a, a Tahitian vanilla I love Tahitian vanilla use whatever is your favorite vanilla friends as long as it's 100% uh, pure vanilla extract eh? And uh, uh, vanilla, yeah, there's a lot of good vanilla out there. Put whichever one you want. Measure carefully. And right there, my friends, I got a third of a cup of sugar. I'm going to wait for the cream to start beating a little bit. I don't want it to be too hard um, of, a, of a peak. Uh, I'm just using sugar. You can put condensed milk also. You could put condensed milk. It's great as a, as a sugar. It gives you a, a sour cream a little more body. Uh, white chocolate works great also. It's up to you. We're going to whip it. I'm staying with it. You notice I'm not doing something else because I don't want to make butter. Let's see what we got. Maybe just uh, sometime I just like to finish it by hand. I don't want to overdo it. Eh? Let's see what I got here. I got it. That's all I need. I don't want to overdo. All right. Let me take this out of the way. And then we're going to put it in a pastry bag. In a pastry bag, friends, this is just my regular pastry bag. And before I put it in the bag, I like to twist it inside. You see, take it, twist it inside the pastry bag, right? Uh, I twist it in, and you'll see why in a minute it helps you. All right, now we're going to take the cream. Maybe just, maybe just a touch more, just a little little bit more now that I need the whisk just a little bit more there you go you want to be just a touch firmer and then we're gonna put it in a pastry bag and then we're gonna put the cakes together friends all right for this I made a um, a, uh, a lemon 
a chiffon cake on a sheet pan and I made it very thin because uh, I don't want it to be too cakey. <laughs> too cakey. I don't know if that's the word. You know, I make word around, around the channels. I've been told that sometimes I make up word. So, <laughs> so remember, I got to tie it in right here so I don't have to worry too much about this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open up my bag and I'm going to make sure that this is twisted here, still twisted, right? So I twist it and I twist it here. I twist it and I twist it here so I can push it. I can push it with my fingers right there. You see, look, I'm pushing it right there, but it's not going anywhere because this is twisted. Okay. And I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it right in here. I don't need to worry about it because everything is ready to go. I don't need to worry about it. Now, I made friends a chiffon cake and, and I made it very, very thin. <laughs> We ate some of it already this morning. <laughs> um, I made it very thin. I wanted to show you the different mold that you could use, friends. This is a plumbing pipe. Yeah, plumbing pipe. This is called a pipe coupler. You know, I use it in a lot of dessert. This is a two inch. This is a two and a half inch uh, uh, stainless steel mold you can buy online. I'll give you the link where you can buy. And this is another plumbing pipe. This is called a pipe coupler. And it's for remodeling, it has nothing in between. You see, normally there's a ring in it, so make sure when you buy a pipe coupler, you buy one for remodeling, not new construction. This is a, um, a four inch one, and you can make a cake for two in here, or you could use the stainless steel one, or you can use this one. It doesn't matter which one you use, friends. I'm gonna use the stainless steel one to make it easy today, and we're gonna put it in here. So you check your cookie cutter. See, this one fits perfectly in there, so I know that's the right size, right? So I'm gonna cut right there. I'm gonna cut myself a couple of circles and I'm gonna use the inside of it. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of there for now. So it's out of the way. And I'm gonna put it in the circle, you see? Boom, 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 boom. Let's check that gem. Look, it's boiling now, friends. So now we're gonna take the, um, let me get a spoon. I'm just going to put that in there because it needs to boil. You see, look, look. You see, friends? It bloomed. All right, we're going to put this in there. And this is enough to make a jam thick enough so it's not liquid. Okay, friends? That's all there is to do. We're going to bring this right there, and it's going to continue boiling. I want to cook that for an hour and a half, an hour and 15 minutes. We don't worry about it. Just low heat, low heat. Every so often, just take a wooden spoon and check it and make sure it doesn't stick in the bottom. That's all. All right? So now, we got a cake in the bottom of it. So now, I got a simple syrup. Simple syrup is just sugar water, and this time I made it with limoncello. Oh, oh. I'm forgetting something in the, uh, in the jam over there, friends. I forgot to put the lemon. A lemon zest, okay? So put a lemon zest in there, in your jam, okay? I got it. This is a little lemon. I think they were on sale. That's why we bought them. Look at those little lemon. <laughs> put a whole lemon in there, a real lemon, okay? Not a, not a little thing like this. And you see, when you use the tool correctly, which means you put the, the tool on top of the lemon, not the lemon on top of the tool like so many ding-dongs do, and you go like this, you got it in there, okay? I should put another lemon, but let me go back to my cake. All right, friends, so we good? We don't worry about this no more. Did I finish everything this time? Yes, I can get this. All right, simple syrup, sugar water. I'll give you a recipe to make it, friends. Uh, and that's gonna make the cake nice and moist, right? Um, uh, sim uh, sugar, water, bring it to boil, put some lemoncello or Grand Marnier, as much as you want. It's up to you how much booze you put in, okay? And let it soak in the cookie right there. The jam, friends, you see? The jam, that's what happened. I made it yesterday. And that's why you see some pieces missing because yesterday we wanted to eat some of it. Nobody wants to wait. I don't know, I don't know. we can have one now, we can have one now. So we did. <laughs> All right, so look, I got beautiful strawberries, friends. I'm gonna take the strawberries, remove my, uh, my green top, right there, and I'm gonna cut it in slices, very thin slices, okay? It's kinda of cool to make them individual, friends, the, um, the, 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 this cake. You can make a big one, but it's a whole different process to make a big one. 
All right, so now we're going to take it. We're going to put it in here. Now, I don't know how Jack is going to be able to get in there, friends. Um, but uh, can you get in there, Jack? Jack, a little bit, not too much. Not too much, right? So now we're going to take a, 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 um, a little bit of the jam. I like to do with a scoop so I don't put too much of it, right? And then, friends, we're going to take our whipped cream that is now ready to go. And we're going to put a little bit of whipped cream, not too much. So now I open it up, you see? Now I can twist, can twist, twist, twist. I'm going to put a little bit of whipped cream around it, not too much. All right? And then we're going to leave this here right there, stay right there. We're going to put another piece of cake. We're going to push it down. We're going to put more of the simple syrup. Let it soak a little bit in, friends. Right? Let it soak, let it soak. Right? And then we're going to put more strawberries. Right? A little bit more strawberries. And I'm going to reduce the heat on this uh, thing so I can let it cook for about an hour and a half. And that'll be for, uh, for us tomorrow. So look, more strawberry slices. And you get the idea. So now, friends, you have to make this in advance. Okay? Do this in advance. You got to do this at least two or three, four hours in advance. You can't just make them, serve them right away. They're not going to stay nice. You see, friends? So you want to make sure they stay pretty. All right? So you put a little more of the jam. So you can make them in individual, like I said, with a plumbing pipe. You can make them in a, in a, uh, in a, um, and we're just going to go around it and give it a very simple, all right? And then we're going to decorate them in a minute. What we're going to do now, friends, we're going to let them refrigerate it for about four hours. We're going to make a few of them, and then we're going to decorate them, we're going to cut them, we're going to see how beautiful it is. All right, friends? So I'll be back in a few minutes. For you, it'll be a few seconds. For me, it'll be about four hours. I have to wait for this to cool, okay? Be back. Okay, friends, remember, you got to wait three, four hours. If you try to take them out before. <laughs> so, a couple of tips. If you want to uh, take them out, uh, if you want to do the whipped cream first to take them out, remember, you got to take a little spatula right there, and you go underneath here. And, uh, and if you take it out and it don't come out, which is possible, you get one of those uh, fancy can there, and you push them slowly. You see? Push them slowly. And voila, and you are gentle, and you got your cake. Okay? So that's one way of doing it. Now, if you put the whipped cream at the last minute, you can just go like this. And then you can use your, your, your finger to hold it down and push it slowly, which is an easy way to do it, right? And then you put your, uh, your strawberries on top. Like so. Put a little bit of your jam, or you can put the jam first, or you put the jam later. It doesn't matter which one you put first, second, or third. <laughs> There's no third, right? Oh, see? Aha! And then you take your whipped cream, and you put it on top. Now, you see, we should have put the jam first. Okay, let's redo it real quick. Let's redo it real quick, friends. Because if I don't do this, I'm going to have a mess on my hands. So let me redo it first. See, I make mistakes so you guys don't do it. <laughs> a little bit of jam. And let's take some slices of, toma of tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've had too much of it, obviously. Here you go. All right. Now, those guys are supposed to hold a little better. And we take our whipped cream on top. And then we're going to do a strawberry uh, a fan. You know the way we, way we do it? We take the strawberry. Let's remove the, uh, the green without making too much of a hole. And we go in. Oh, uh, am I in, in everywhere here, Jack? Can you see me? You're good right now? See, we cut the little slices. We don't go all the way through, friends. This is an old classic decoration, but so simple. Anybody can do this. 
I want to do things that everybody can do here. For instance, you come in, and voila. And to really finish it correctly, put a little mint leaf in here somewhere. And now you take a little bit of uh, the powdered sugar, and voila, you have yourself a beautiful strawberry shortcake. Friends, let me get the knife. Get yourself a nice thin knife. <laughs> I'm going to eat that later. And then you cut it right in half. And then, now remember, when you cut it, it's going to get messy. But it's supposed to be messy. At least look at this, friends. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. It's going to be delicious. You know, it's just gonna be messy, but hey, you're gonna eat it on the plate. You're not gonna eat it on the cutting board, right? <laughs> exactly. Um. Oh. <laughs> mm. 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 My friends, make them in advance. I recommend you leave them like that and put the whipped cream at the last minute. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can do them in a plumbing pipe. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching, friends. Oh, man, let me tell you, you're not getting any of this one. Mmm, 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 that's delicious. Um, oh, yeah. Mmm, mmm. I'm making this again tomorrow. Mm. Voila. We're good. Beautiful.